Why is this volume slider yellowed out? Why can't we change it and how can we fix it so that we can? In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. So if you're in GarageBand iOS and your volume control is yellow, it means that automation has been applied. Now automation is applied by tapping on the icon here and hitting the automation button. And you'll see that we've got these yellow automation lines. So let's explain what automation is and why we use it, how we can remove it, and some workarounds if you've already added automation and still wanna change your volume. Volume automation helps you automate the volume or how loud a particular track is over the course of an entire song. So you can see here with this lead guitar part, Part, it has the volume dipped down here for this first pass and then increases back to its regular level for this second one. It's super handy if you've got vocals or guitars or drums or anything where you want to adjust the volume in one part of a track and then maybe make it louder or softer in another part. To add volume automation points, we slide on the slider in the top left here and you can see we can tap in additional points and then we can move these up or down to adjust the overall volume. So it's super handy, but what if you've added volume automation and you've got your automation track set there and now you want to make a small tweak to the volume well there's a couple of ways you can do this and i'm going to show you all of them right now oh and if you want to learn a whole heap more about automation you can check out the video linked up the top there and down in the description method number one the easiest way to work around volume automation is to turn it off if you decide you don't want it anymore all you need to do is go into automation so to go there we tap right here on the icon we tap on automation and then this yellow button here if we tap on that one see how everything goes gray we've now got control of our slider so if you decide that you don't want those automation points on there anymore you can just turn them off you can also delete them so if you want to come in here and tap on these points tap again and hit delete so if you like it nice and clean and you want to delete all these points you can delete all your automation points there as well it's not really required because as soon as you turn it off like that it's going to not have automation you can adjust your volume it'll be at whatever static volume you set using your volume slider the second way we can manage this is using clip gain. Now clip gain is available on all your different audio sections or clips here. If we tap on one, we tap it again and we hit settings, you can see we can adjust the gain independently for each clip. So if this one wanted to be quieter, we could drag that down 5 dB and this one here remains at 0 dB. We can change it. So each one can be adjusted independently. This is really cool because what you can do is instead of using automation, we can actually use clip gain instead. So if we tap on this one and go into automation and turn that off just like we did in the first section what we can actually do is instead of using automation at all we can actually split this clip so you drag your playhead to the point where you want your clip to be split we tap on that one we tap again and we hit the split button we drag down on this one and now take a look at this we've got two different clips and you can clip your your tracks as many times as you like it's very very cool so now we can do exactly what we wanted to do before by simply grabbing this one going to settings and dragging this down to say minus four or five db and and then this one here will remain at that same zero dB setting. It then gives us the independence to control the overall master volume. And these volumes, these clip volumes won't actually change. So this is really cool because it means the relative difference between this and this will always be around that five dB that we've set. But if we find the whole track itself needs to go up or down, we've now got the freedom to do that as opposed to automation where it was yellowed out. The third and final way to manage volume automation, and this is perhaps my personal favorite, is to use our EQ volume hack. Now to do this, we select the track, we go up to our plugins and EQ setting there, tap on plugins and EQ here, and enable this, the visual EQ. Now we're not gonna actually use this to EQ, but the one thing our visual EQ has, if we tap on that button there, is over here on the right, you guessed it, we got a gain dial. So if we wanted this to all just go up by a couple of dB, we can just drive that gain up there, hit done, and now our whole track has changed. Without having to mess with clip gain, without changing our volume there, we've changed the volume of the entire track using this. Want it to go down? You can do the same thing there. It's very cool and very handy and easy way to control volume here in GarageBand iOS. There you have it. Three ways to solve your automation woes here in GarageBand iOS. If you want to learn a heap more about GarageBand, about mixing, about volume control, check out the links down in the description and I'll see you next time.